Shadeen, I've been with my partner for a year and it's not that I don't enjoy sex with him, it's that I can never orgasm. I was faking it for a while, but it's not fun when I don't get to finish. Should I tell him I've never been able to orgasm with any of my partners, so I'm not sure it's my fault? So f- faking isn't cool. And I say that non-judgmentally. No, same. Right? I agree. It's just lying that to yourself and to the person. And and quite often it's a it's a mutual you know, protection, right? That if we have shame or discomfort around not being able to, and you know, finish orgasm, right? That we might do it sort of to soothe our own sort of ego or self-judgment. A lot of the times when folks are having sex with men, they fake it for male ego, which also sucks, right? Because well, cause then the man can't ever improve if he's not getting any constructive criticism. Right. right. Or the and person, whoever it may be. Right. And we, we actually see this dynamic less in same sex or same gender uh, relationships, right? That, that we, the orgasm gap, uh, if that's a phrase that folks have heard before, that um, folks in heterosexual relationships, particularly women, have fewer orgasms with heterosexual men than in same-sex relationships so gay men and lesbian women have more orgasms overall compared to heterosexual relationships where the woman is orgasming they're saying sort of at most like 60 percent of the time right so acknowledging that this is like a cultural phenomenon hopefully for this person they're not internalizing as like this is like a thing that only i do lots and lots and lots of people are doing it but i think what is important in this in particular is that she hasn't been able to orgasm with partners before, but it doesn't sound like she doesn't orgasm. It sounds like she's able to bring herself to orgasm. Mm. And so I would be curious, well, what is happening in solo sex that is different in partnered sex, right? What is what is the difference and what can you show, introduce, share, teach mm-hmm. to your partner, right? Maybe there is something that you do that really turns you on. Maybe there's a way that you set the scene. Maybe there's a place that you go in your head. Maybe there's a certain technique that you're using what can you share or offer your partner and it doesn't have to be sort of this big reveal like I've been faking for the last six years and you know it, it can be hey can I can I show you something can I ask you a follow-up question to that please so a lot of my friends don't ever orgasm with their whatever lovers of yep. any gender and someone someone was saying the other day I don't know if it was on the radio mm. or something but excessive use of sex toys can make you more immune to an orgasm mm. so a- it's a it's a thing not thing so uh the thing i love about like radio is that it's like little blurbs and so you get quick information but it's decontextualized yeah. so a lot of folks worry about like using a it vibrator like in- a bit sex toy shaming yeah but a, i also wanted to a understand. lot of folks worry that like if i use my vibrator too much it's gonna like desensitize my clitoris and then right that's not how that's not how it's got eight thousand nerve endings eight thousand nerve endings yeah. so unless you're like literally frying your nerve <laughs> which for most people like probably isn't like the thing that like is what you're doing every Thursday after Gossip Girl, mm-hmm. right? That you know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm leaving plenty. I'm of space. frying. I'm, I'm leaving plenty of space for that. If that's your particular uh, brand of, mm-hmm. of you know sex play, yeah, right. But for you know folks who Friday. Are- <laughs> Sorry, Keep going. get it. Sorry, I you're, get it. You're right, but <laughs> so for folks who you know are using toys, the challenge can be with partnered sex that if you're not using toys during partnered sex and you only use toys for solo sex, right? Like that's what you're doing when you're masturbating, right? Using a vibrator or an electro wand or whatever that. A penis, lips, tongue, hands can't recreate those sensations. So your body may have habituated to a certain kind of orgasm, right, that just won't be recreated by your partner unless you bring that toy into partnered play, Yeah. right? That if you think about the speed of a vibrator, like what body part can recreate that speed or that intensity and maintain it consistently, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's not going to happen. And so for this person who's saying, who might be saying I orgasm by myself and not with my partner, Mm -hmm. right? Being able to think about, okay, how do I orgasm by myself? And what from that can I bring into partnered sex? And if this is a scenario in which she's finding orgasms in ways that her partner can't recreate and they don't want to transition that 
toy that process into their partnered sex relationship then she might think about okay expanding out her solo sex repertoire and exploring her body in other ways to see what other things are pleasurable but also it's worth acknowledging that she's enjoying sex overall with her partner yeah. i know she'd rather orgasm it sounds like she'd rather orgasm yeah with also him. i like i've heard of people like just getting themselves off at the end of sex. It doesn't right. have to be this thing you go and skulk off and do on your own. Right, and and you orgasm just... doesn't have to be the goal, right? But it sounds like it's something that she would like to experience mm -hmm. with her partner, and so she's got, she's got some options. 